From WPTV, this is News Channel 5 at 6. Yes, I feared. I feared what would be next. I feared if this gets out of hand, what's going to happen? If her worst fears came true. She was shot multiple times by her ex-boyfriend, a Palm Beach County Sheriff's deputy. And tonight, for the first time, Yuli Solano is sharing her story with Contact 5 investigator Maris Badcock, who is now live outside the apartment complex in Boyden, where her life nearly ended. Maris. This is that apartment complex where Yuli Solano met the man who would eventually try to kill her. And today she sat down with me to talk about the moments leading up to that shooting, something we don't always get a chance to discuss. And she has a message for everyone in our community. Yuli Solano is a self-described strong, independent woman, and even she found herself a victim of brutal domestic violence, abuse so bad it almost killed her. I was just always shaking inside because I didn't know what I was going to come home to. It became a living hell, three weeks of a living hell. Solano met Michael DeMarco, a PBSO deputy, at Inlet Harbor Club condominium in Boynton Beach, but she says alarm bells went off five months in. He was very controlling. It was all on his time. Solano broke up with him, but it only made things worse. I feared what would be next. If this gets out of hand, what's going to happen if I myself go down to the police and file a, a restraining order against him? Solano says she reached out to her condominium for help, but she says they did nothing. It wasn't one complaint. It was three complaints, and they're blaming me for it. They're saying that I should have known being that I was with a dangerous person, I'm sorry, I didn't know the sheriffs were supposed to be dangerous. I thought that they were here to protect us. Three weeks post breakup in October of last year, DeMarco approached Solano while she was walking her dog. The only thing I remember him saying is, you won't even talk to me, you treat me worse than a dog. He tried to grab my hand, he was trying to prevent for me to continue to walk. And when I went to yank my arm away from him, he pulled out his gun. I remember him shooting me multiple times. He shot me four times. I still don't know how I am alive. Solano is still recovering. She tires easily and her vocal cords are fragile, but she's mustered up the voice she has left to share this. Every nine seconds, a woman dies from domestic violence. If you hear something or see something, you should speak up. I'm not going to shut up because I feel that everybody ignores this just like they ignored me and I could have been dead. We reached out to the attorneys representing Inlet Harbor Club in an ongoing lawsuit with Solano, but they have not yet gotten back to us. Live in Boynton Beach tonight, I'm Maris Badcock for WPTV News Channel 5. If you or someone you know needs help, there's a 24-hour crisis hotline. The number is 800-355-8547. There are also online resources to help you report domestic violence. We've put all of this information, including the hotline, on WPTV.com and our free app.